Hey everyone, so today we're just going to show you how to model uh, a 3D bracket in MicroStation as if you were going to make it out of sheet metal. So we're going to start with making a square 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Uh, you can just type that into the place block. And then after we get the square gone, we're going to put two tabs, uh, one on the top, one on the bottom. So we're just going to select the center of it, uh, go over 7.5 millimeters, and then we're going to go up about 15 millimeters. And then you can go over to segment, switch it to arc uh, to create the top of the tab. And then we're going to go over seven and a half millimeters. You can draw the arc however you want uh, once you select it, which is nice. We're just going to do a semicircle. Then we're going to go back over to line to bring it back down to the square, which is 15 millimeters. And then you just want to make sure you connect it uh, and you'll get this great area uh, whenever you do so. And so we're going to mirror this tab and you can select anywhere. I like to select uh, right on the square and then switch it over to horizontal mirror direction. Uh, and then you can just type in 50 millimeters and that's gonna bring you straight into the other side of this base. There we go. And you wanna make sure that it says make a copy. I've done it before where make a copy wasn't selected and it just brings that feature over. So now we're going to make the sidewalls. Uh, we're just going to do another square or rectangle. We're going to make the edge 3.05 because that's going to be the thickness of the sheet metal. And so this is going to be a completely 90 degree uh, angle. And then we want to bring it all the way down to 100 millimeters so that it fits uh, the same width into that base. We're going to do it on both sides. And since you already have the dimensions typed in, it's very simple to just uh, draw it on the other side. So let's go to the isometric view, and then we'll do the extrusion. So we're going to go to solids, extrude, uh, and again, the thickness of this material is going to be 3.05 millimeters, which is a standard thickness for sheet metal. Uh, so we're going to select the two tabs and the base, draw it up. And now for the sidewalls, we want to do 40 millimeters for the inside of this bracket. So you're going to do 43.05 to include that thickness of the base. And then we're just going to bring both side walls up. So we're going to go to the side view because we're going to bend one of these tabs up. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to select the corner uh, near the base of that bracket. And then you can see on, the, on view 3 where it rotated. So we're going to go to view 2 to just move it back. That way it shows that it's it's a bend. <clears throat> and now we're going to do another 90 degree bend on these side walls uh, for like the mounting base, I guess. So we're going to make it 100 millimeters wide and 3.05 millimeters tall for the thickness of the material. And then we're going to want this on both sides uh, of these side walls. <clears throat> so we're going to move this first drawing, since we clicked on that front or that side face, that's what we drew it on. Uh, we're going to move it over to where it just bumps it back a hair. That way, when we extrude it, it includes that corner. So we moved it over, and then we're going to mirror this for the other side. So we're going to do a vertical direction. And again, we're just going to do 50 millimeters. And that's going to be set up nicely. So the next step would just be to extrude these two mounting faces. Now, when you're changing the view of the part, you have to make sure that the correct window is selected. And so all you do is go to Home, Element Selection, and then you select that window. And the border of that window will be highlighted and the other ones will be kind of faded. And that's how you'll know you're in the correct view. So we're gonna extrude these two. Uh, rectangles and that's going to be like our mounting surfaces <clears throat> and we're going to keep that 43.05 millimeters as well and now let's just unite all of these extrusions to make it one part so we're going to hit the unite feature and then we're just going to select them all there we go <clears throat> and then i think we're going to put some mounting holes uh on it now so i'm going to start by putting a mounting hole on the top part 
We're just gonna do a simple mounting hole, uh, drill it all the way through, change the diameter to 7.5. <clears throat> now, if you wanna make sure it's centered on this tab, you're gonna go over to the edge of the arc and you're gonna hit O on your keyboard to change the origin. And then you're just gonna go over 7.5 millimeters. That's gonna be centered. And then we're gonna do that same concept on both of the mounting surfaces. So we're gonna go over to the corner, select O to change the origin on that top left corner. And then we're gonna put it at 20 millimeters in and 20 millimeters down, kind of center it on that 40 millimeter flange. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna bring it 60 millimeters down because it's 100 millimeters uh, tall. And so <clears throat> that's gonna be completely symmetric. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So I find this way of making holes uh, very simple, very easy, very intuitive. So we're going to add one more hole to that bent tab. And the nice thing about MicroStation is that I can have all these views set up uh, on one screen. So I don't have to constantly be moving my part if I don't want to. Let's go ahead and select that face, change the origin to the edge of the arc, and then bring it in 7.5 millimeters. <coughs> it's that easy. So the last thing we're going to do with this part is we're going to simulate the sheet metal being bent. So we're going to go over to solid, go to solids, fill it, and then we're just going to change the radius to two, I already have it set, uh, and you just select all the edges that would uh, have to be bent in order to make this part out of sheet metal. So a really cool uh, feature within MicroStation is uh, a very noticeable when you're doing the fillet edge, but um, with any feature, if you change to the rotate view, uh, to rotate your part around, you can right click and that'll go straight back to the previous feature. So in this case, I'm rotating the part around, I'm selecting all the edges for the fillet uh, edge. <clears throat> and so after I finish rotating the part, like I'm doing right here, I just uh, right click and it goes straight back to my fillet edge and then I can select the edge. Uh, as necessary. So let's see, it's looking good so far. I think I gotta get this underside. Yep, this edge right here. And uh, the other side as well. There we go. This part is starting to really come along. I think the last edge I'm missing is this inside edge on the sidewall. So I right click, put the fillet edge, and then just select it uh, with a left click, and then we are good to go. So that is the entire part uh, essentially being made out of sheet metal uh, modeled in MicroStation. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>